All right. So, hi there. This is a short video in which I will explain why relationship is actually the most central phenomena to human experience. And I'm going to just go ahead and share my screen here and um, draw a small a small explanation like a diagram here so um, you can follow along more easily also visually on what i'm talking about i think that makes it easier to understand what i'm pointing at here so basically what i want to explain to you now is why relationship is actually the most central part of human experience meaning that it's the place where change happens where evolution happens where um, growth happens but also where stagnation happens and where uh, resentment and frustration and all this kind of stuff comes from um, in all areas of life so that's why i'm telling it's at the core of the human experience and um, just for the sake of this video what we're going to do is we're going to just assume that as soon as you come to this place and you embody into a physical form um, you are this blob of consciousness that I just painted here. So this is just pure consciousness. You're just witnessing, observing, um, aware basically of everything that's going on. And so that's you with a body, of course. Um, and I don't want to get into like too deep of a philosophical uh, discussion here of how this works or if this really is like the most um, truest form that we can um, understand this this whole process it is not a video that i want to do uh, so just come along with this explanation with me please and then we can go into the real topic so of course as soon as you come into contact actually with this world what you're doing is you're building a relationship with it so you're you're coming into a relationship with foremost with your parents and your family so so other important, significant human beings that you come into contact with and, and uh, build a relationship with. And through this relationship, you're actually starting to understand the world at large. So let's, this is the world. Um, you're starting to, to understand the world at large and human beings and how everything, like how this whole physical reality and also non-physical reality, like with feelings and thoughts, all this stuff works. You're starting to figure that out in relationship to other people. So you're coming here as this observing, witnessing, aware consciousness, and you're getting into relationship with your parents, for example, and then you learn stuff. And this learning is, is collected for you or as, as you or with you um, in, in these kind of like blobs of, of understanding, we could, we could call these uh, identities or um, uh, patterns or, or structures of understanding, whatever you, we want to name this. These are just laid down here. And so, for example, um, your mom <clears throat> is, is insecure. Let's just take this as an example. And, and you notice that in relationship to her, when you are... Um, just showing your happy side. If you smile all the time, your mother feels more secure. What happens is you you, you notice this that this is going on, and you start to um, actually suppress a bit of your authenticity to make the attachment to your mother, the relationship to your mother, more secure. Um, and so you you change your behavior basically. Like you 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 notice like oh, when I'm doing this, my mom feels insecure. If I'm doing this, she feels secure. So and I want to have a secure relationship with her because that feels best for me like that's just the safest way to to go about this and um, so i will start uh, suppressing a bit of my authenticity and this is one of these understandings here it's like oh if i suppress a bit of my authenticity um i actually uh, the relationship with my mom feels better um or more safe and that's what i want so as a as a child i, I basically just do this this is not a, like a cognitive understanding i'm just and try this is trial and error and i'm just finding out the best ways to exist basically um and so because of your because your mom and your your dad are actually like these symbolical figures as well for you as a, as this child and as the growing up human being <clears throat> this becomes also like a uh, to to some extent you also start to understand so you for you're forming this understanding also in a relationship to the whole world you're forming the understanding that if you are showing, for example, more of your vulnerability or more of your sadness or more of your anger, which makes the relationship with your mom um, unsafe, um, 
that bad things could happen. So basically, you, you're forming the understanding that if you're just enjoying your joy and your happiness, uh, the world is going to be a safer place. Um, and so this understanding is formed. And a lot of these understandings are formed. So there's not just like one, but there's like multiple understandings that you just take on and they, they, they get built basically into your worldview and your understanding of the world, um, into your personality, basically. Um, um, and so, uh, like, I assume that there's there's uh, an inherent personality basically coming with this consciousness. This is like a, one expression of consciousness, and everybody has his own expression. Um, but then there's also stuff that comes through the relationship with the external world that you then take on as patterns of or conditioning. We could also call it, um, which in like the total of this is your your human expression, basically, or your personality. Um, so you have these, and the problem is that most of the time, like I'm just drawing a dot here so you can see clearly like this is the consciousness and these are the patterns. So most of the time what happens is because this, this conditioning is happening at such an early age that, um, we, we are, don't even have like this conscious understanding of like, oh, this is consciousness and this is like the patterns, but this basically forms one like whole thing which i described before like your human expression or your personality this is like one whole thing and we often we don't like make the distinction between like the consciousness aspect of this and the, the patterning the conditioning aspect of this and so what happens is as soon as we get in in contact with other people who are having the same thing because this is happening to everybody like I'm just drawing a few conditionings here. And then there's also like, of course, like a conscious core. And so if you're getting into contact with another human being uh, in a relationship with them, or they get in a relationship with you, what's happening is because you don't distinguish between these two things, or like seldom people do distinguish between, between these two things. Um, I actually believe that this is me. Like, I am this conditioning, like, oh, yeah, I am a person who's always happy, maybe. Or um, let's say your father was a dominant person um, and you coped with this by um, ex like externally being um, compliant and going along with it, but internally building a grudge and actually like building up resentment against your father. Then you might be a person who's uh, identifying with, oh, I'm a person who's uh, always going along with everything that people tell me if they have more authority than I or they're uh, more dominant than me, but actually like I'm really pissed internally and I'm trying to manipulate or I'm trying to, uh, you know, harm them. Um, and you and identify completely with this, not seeing that it's your conditioning uh, rather than your yourself, like your consciousness basically. And other people do that as well. And so what's, what's happening is that there's all sorts of conflict and projection and friction that is happening between people because they're identifying completely with like these conditioned uh, identities that they have taken on. And so this is where stagnation happens, basically. You're learning something in relationship. So, so the consciousness of you in relationship with the world, with significant others, is building an understanding and you take this understanding on, you're embodying basically this understanding and uh, making it yours, identifying with it. And then in relationship with other people, it comes to the surface again and is, is played out, is acted out. So if there's somebody who is more dominant, for example, and you're in relationship with them, you're going to draw upon your conditioning with uh, your dominant father and then act out this condition with this other person, even though it might be a completely different situation or, um, yeah, there's something called for that you are, done, uh, you are unab unable to react to out of your conditioning. So this is a problem. This is where stagnation happens in, in a relationship. Like you don't change. As long as you identify with your patterns, you don't change. There's no possibility to, to change. And so the solution to this, and that's what we do in circling, um, is to basically make this gap possible here. Make this gap in between your consciousness and your patterning while being in relationship with another person and they doing the same thing. Because you can meditate for a very long time by yourself, like not in contact with other people and not notice a lot of your conditioning. It's, it's taking very, uh, very long 
until you will get get to notice like the, the most subtle and the most deepest uh, parts of your conditioning but in relationship all this stuff comes to the surface like immediately um, especially like in a group setting where there's a lot of energies a lot of different people a lot of different conditionings this stuff comes to the surface immediately and it's there to to be seen and uh, to, exp to be explored and so that's what we're doing in our group um, practices is that we're actually we're holding a space through a meditative consciousness where we're separating the conscious aspect from the patterning we're, we're, we're kind of like separating this in awareness in the awareness from the things that are going on within our bodies and in the relationship with other people here um, and we're just observing this and we're observing it and naming it and through this observing it and naming it it actually becomes easier and easier and easier over time to disidentify with these conditionings and just see them for who for what they are namely conditionings um, things that we have learned growing up in this world and um, things that have also helped us a great deal in, in different situations and different relationships with people especially our parents and families and and so what, what what's possible through this is actually not that i'm kind of like looking through the lens of this patterning and then seeing the other person through this lens and not actually like noticing or seeing the true core of this other being and really meeting the other person and also the other person like seeing the same thing seeing through their patternings and then seeing us and not being able to to be fully seen by this other person even if i'm like talking about what what what's really important for me and my values and stuff like that it's it's really hard to get to the core of, of another person and really be moved and seen in like the the total vulnerability and and awesomeness that we we are as, as human beings um, and so what we are trying to do is um to create a meeting between the conscious aspect of me and the consciousness aspect of this other person but this only becomes possible as soon as I actually identify, I disidentify, sorry, disidentify from these conditioned parts of myself and see them and observe them and um, detach from them. Um, and relationship is just like the most amazing playing field to do this. That's why I'm saying it's, it's at the core of the human experience because all this stuff, all these understandings and all this stagnation also, like our whole worldview. Is basically formed from our relationship with the world like we as a consciousness in relationship with the world we form this understanding and then also in relationship with other people we can see and learn about this understanding that we form it's, it's like a mirror it's, it's the perfect mirror to mirror back to us how we perceive the world even in unconscious ways in ways that we don't even know that we are doing it or seeing it and and so the relationship can actually become the transformative tool with which we can actually then be able to connect from consciousness to consciousness directly which is the most intimate thing that you can experience is to, to be fully seen for who you are not having to pretend anything not having to do anything um, not having to give anything to, to to do that like connection is basically always present it's always there and realizing and experiencing this ever-present connection with the other being that's the most greatest gift that I can imagine having or getting as a human being. And the only thing that's in the way is identification with our conditioning. And, and so if we, if we just make this gap here between consciousness and conditioning, and we learn about ourselves, our history, like our stories that we talk, tell about ourselves, and we detach from them, then what becomes possible is the most amazing human connection. That you can imagine or you can't imagine maybe you can't even imagine it because your conditioning is so strong um, yeah and so that's basically what we're doing in, in circling spaces is creating this gap making possible to be fully seen as who you are and um, and healing also from these um, understandings that sometimes they really hurt them they really hurt us um, for example if, if i really feel like i have all i always have to be happy and i can never show my sadness because otherwise it would be too unsafe for me because that was the way it was with the relationship with my mom that's so unconscious that's stored in my unconscious and it's not in my control in my um in my cognitive control to 
do anything about it. I just feel that way. And if I can release that understanding from my body and my consciousness, there's so much energy that is freed up for me, for myself, to express myself, to be different with people in connection, to be, really be authentic in connection and allow for deep intimacy, which wouldn't have been possible in the, in the, before that. And so this is really important work that we're doing here, basically healing yourself from the limiting beliefs that you hold and, and build and also freeing your relationship with everything from these beliefs and, and getting again into a deep connection with the mystery of life and humanness and, and this universe.